What if I said there was a way you could make money by buying a coin on an exchange and then taking it and selling it on another exchange but for more. Well, you can, and it's called crypto arbitrage. And if you do it correctly, you can easily make some really good money with it. Now, the thought process behind all this is basically every exchange has a different price for a coin based on how many people are buying and selling it at that given moment. For example, if you look at this picture, every exchange has a different price for Bitcoin, which is perfectly normal. Now, what crypto arbitrage is, is buying Bitcoin on, let's say, Coinbase for 21,371 and then going to Kraken and selling it for 21,385. And then that $14, that is your split or your profit. Now, obviously, you probably wouldn't be doing this with $20,000. And even if you were, that $14, it doesn't even seem like a lot. But when you look at other smaller cap coins, the differences or the split are much higher than these larger cap coins. And if you can find these big differences and do this multiple times a day, that's where you can make some really good money. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about crypto arbitrage, how you can do this for yourself to make some extra money and sharing some hidden secrets on how to become successful with it but before we get into it make sure you guys smash that like button i am a little under the weather but the show must go on as always make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already i make videos all about crypto and how you can become rich from it so without further ado let's get into the video now i briefly explained what crypto arbitrage is and how you can make money from it in the beginning of the video but i want to explain it a little bit more now yes at a high level you're basically just buying a coin and then selling it for more which is basically kind of like trading but the thing is with trading you don't know what the price will be in like five Five minutes from now with arbitrage on the other hand you can see exactly what the price is trading at in real time on another exchange and if it is trading for more it's basically like guaranteed profit well kind of there's other things that go into it but i'll get into that later in the video okay now that you know some of the basics about crypto arbitrage let's head over to my computer and show you exactly how it's done okay first off i just want to quickly explain why coins are traded at different price levels amongst different exchanges as we can see over here the reason is is because of something called market inefficiencies which is basically an error in a crypto's price because technically a crypto's price should be the same everywhere but it's not which means they don't always have to have a set value instead their prices are determined by how much people are willing to pay to buy and sell them for example most exchanges value a coin based on the most recent price at which it was bought and sold which means if ten dollars is the most recent price someone bought a crypto on an exchange the exchange would price the value of that coin at ten dollars all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is create accounts on all these major exchanges so obviously you have like coinbase finance crypto.com there's tons of other crypto exchanges as you can see over here now one thing to note when you create accounts on these major exchanges like binance um, and coinbase is that majority of these are going to require a kyc check which is basically just confirming your identity now yes it's great to have these but you have to understand a lot of the crypto arbitrage opportunities come from the smaller exchanges which usually have no kyc check so you can create them very easily and quickly and they usually have lower fees as well so what i suggest to do is create some accounts on some of the major exchanges such as like coinbase binance crypto.com i assume a lot of you guys already have accounts to these places so you don't have to worry about that but um, i still suggest creating them if you don't i also suggest creating some smaller exchange accounts so you have like bitstamp uh, bitfinex i'm just on the bitcoin chart over here but uh, i highly suggest creating some of these smaller coins now as you gradually grow your crypto arbitrage journey you're gonna naturally just create more accounts on these exchanges but as long as you have like a small framework you should be good all right now that you have your exchange set up the next thing you need to do is research for these great opportunities that have these splits in prices so um, luckily for you you have what is it 23,000 different opportunities now obviously that's a little overkill but you're just going to go through and see which ones have some great opportunities so if we go to synthetics for example you're just going to click the coin go to markets and you're going to see if there's a big split as you can see over here there's not that big of a split everything is traded pretty much uh close to its normal price if we switch it to usdt like it's all like a penny difference so as you can see this is not a good example so you would just go through and see which ones are so uh, let's look at osmosis um markets this has uh, a decent split you have like a one penny split it's nothing crazy but um, you guys get the point uh, another great opportunity to find we are to find opportunities is waiting to see when coins hit either binance or coinbase because whenever a coins gets listed on those exchanges you have what you call like a little pop obviously when a coin gets listed on these major exchanges the price goes up really quickly the thing is when they go up all these other smaller exchanges so if we go over here uh, markets uh, these smaller exchanges like coin X, MEXC, Wazir X, they don't move as quickly as Coinbase because they don't have as much volume. So if you 
see an opportunity where a coin gets listed on these big exchanges you can go in over here and buy up a coin for very cheap and then send it over to like binance or coinbase and sell it there for more that's one of the methods a lot of people use when it comes to crypto arbitrage trading because that split is very high when it first gets listed you can also just track crypto news there's always a whole bunch of articles coming out about specific coins and a lot of the coins move based on those articles so you can use that there's a lot of bots out there that you can use that can track anytime there's a big difference so you can set up where if there's like a five percent ten percent difference the bot alerts you you can use that as well or you can use what i use over here coin market cap uh, this is what i use for everything um, you can filter by volume you can filter by market cap this is a great research opportunity where you can find a lot of coins that have a lot of split all right so i have an example pulled up over here this is the vnx coin or xvs now i'm just going to walk you through an example of exactly how i would do this i unfortunately i can't do a live trade because there's just so many factors that go into a, a crypto arbitrage trade and speed really matters so i wouldn't be able to focus on the video and not trying to lose money so basically this is the coin it's market price is 492 but if we go over here and head over to the markets tab you can see the price hovers around 487 we got 489 uh, we got up to five dollars some places so there's a pretty decent split in uh xvs's price also what i recommend when you guys are doing this arbitrage trading is to stay within contracts like the binance smart chain avalanche and polygon and these other smart contracts with low fees because there's a lot of coins on the erc20 blockchain so ethereum's blockchain but their fees are very very high and those fees just eat into your profit so if you can stay within the contracts of smaller fee ones now when you're looking for a coin to do this on there's two things you're going to need to look into you're going to need to look at the volume of the coin and the liquidity score or there's technically three the volume liquidity score and also the price obviously so the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously look at the price so you can easily do this by filtering by the price as you can see the highest price over here is five dollars and 21 cents but the thing is the volume is only fourteen hundred dollars and the liquidity score is pretty decent but you want the volume to be high and the liquidity score to be high because volume is pretty much how much money people are trading within that given exchange so if the volume is lower it's gonna be hard for your trade to get filled because there's not a lot of money moving in so the higher the volume the easier it is to sell now one thing you're gonna notice is usually when the volume is lower the price of the coin is a lot higher see if we switch over to higher volume look at the price it's a lot lower so the reason this is is because usually when the volume is lower there's not a lot of price movement so the price has the ability to stay high but when there's a lot of volume there's a lot of people buying and selling it so the price usually comes down a bit now i talked about the two things already so the price and the volume and the third thing you're going to need to look at is liquidity score basically what liquidity score is is showing how easy it is to convert a coin into cash so as you can see on this exchange liquidity score of one means it's it's very difficult to convert it into cash whereas if you go if you filter it by this obviously binance is going to be highest because binance is very easy to convert money but you want a coin that has a high liquidity score because if you are dealing with money and trading you want to be able to sell it to cash or sell it to whatever you want as quickly as possible so if it becomes very difficult to do that it's not really worth your time so those are the three things you need to look at price obviously you want the highest price possible volume you should try to find a sweet spot where the price is not too high not too low based on the volume and obviously liquidity score where it's not too low to the fact where you're going to start to lose money because you're not going to be able to sell it back into uh, whatever coin or cash that you want all right so let's run through this example real quick i just quickly paired this by usdt so i can just look at all one pair easily so obviously you're going to want to get the lowest price possible the lowest price um with this volume uh, this volume is decent uh i don't know what these asterisks are so i'm going to stick with this one 4.86 so i'm just going to head over to the calculator and type in 4.86 um you're also going to need to know the the trading fees of this exchange so we're just going to copy our lat token uh lat token trading fees it's going to be 0.49 percent so you're just going to head back over here uh 0.49 and then we're going to head over back over here and to see what the highest price would be um highest price would be aex at five at 343 uh good volume so all that looks good to me so we're gonna oh this is already five Let's look at AEX. I think I was already on there. 0 0.05 is their trading fee. If we do this, we can see that you're going to have a profit percentage of about 2.18%, 2.1% after all the trading fees. Now, for the withdrawal fees, I kept it at just one because you are using Binance's smart chain and their fees are very, very cheap. So I don't think that's a big issue. But yeah, 2.18%. For this example, I used a $1,000 trade amount, which would come out to a $20 profit. If I up this to 10,000, it would have been a $200 profit. So all just depends on how much money you're 
you're playing with it within these trades and, and then you're gonna have to see is that 2.18 percent worth your time there's obviously a whole bunch of other coins you can do this on but that's a question you're gonna have to ask yourself is it worth buying a coin on an exchange sending it over selling it and then doing whatever with that money is it worth 2.18 percent if you're dealing with lots of money maybe it is but if you're dealing with a very little amounts of like five hundred dollars it's not really going to be worth your time again uh, if you guys are lost pretty much what you would do is you would head over here to lato token buy the xvs coin on there for four dollars and 86 cents and then send it over to aex token you would make an account on both of these uh, head over here and then sell that same coin for five dollars and then that 2.18 percent after the fees would be your profit like i said this was just an example if we go over to another coin like immutable x this is like i said on the ethereum blockchain where you guys should try to avoid because the fees on the ethereum blockchain are very very high and the game is to get as low fees as possible that way you can maximize your profits and also a really big piece of advice is stay away from uniswap because uniswap fees are very very high as well so just those two things try to stay away from ethereum tokens if you are doing this and uniswap as well because of the fees so overall is crypto arbitrage worth it uh, there's some pros and cons to it in order for it to really be worth it you need to be trading with a good amount of capital to make it worth your while a couple hundred dollars just won't do anything and although the concept is simple there's a lot of moving parts that go into it such as sending the money calculating the fees and everything else that goes with it and it's really not the most beginner friendly thing to start and not to mention the prices are moving constantly every single day so maybe by the time you even see an opportunity and you send it to another exchange that opportunity might be gone by that but on the flip side it is kind of like guaranteed money because you know you can sell it for more you just have to see if it's worth your time and i'm pretty sure or i feel like most likely there are bots out there like this that do this crypto arbitrage trading for you in real time and even if they don't like i said earlier they might just give you information of when an opportunity might come nonetheless it is a great opportunity to look into but that is it for today's video hopefully it gave you guys some more insight on crypto arbitrage trading and seeing if it's worth your while as always make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any future crypto videos i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in next week's video peace